everybody. I am Debbie and I'm from Southern Delight and I would like to share with you my finds from Hobby Lobby when they had their 50% off sale this week. A Merry Christmas pillow. I got this. It was $24.99 half off. Of course nothing's complete without old Saint Nick. He's dressed in his wilderness outfit here with some wild berries and pine cones and his big old jacket here. He's regularly $39.99 and I got him half off. At Christmas I also like to take down some of my regular pictures and put up Christmas pictures. I found this one of a barn scene in some snow and it has a Christmas wreath on it. This was $29.99 and I got it for half off. And of course I love decorating with candles. And I found these, they look like trees, and they're really lightweight. These were $14.99, and I got these half off. And voila, I found this cute little Christmas tree. And I found this one, and of course you could pro probably know where I'm going with this. I love DIY crafts. And when I saw this, it's kind of a challenge. I'm probably going to see if I can make one of these. If it's successful, I'll share it on one of my YouTube videos. But I picked this little guy up for $19.99. He'll see it was $19.99. So for $10, you can buy one. But I'm going to try to make one for nothing. This is to go under my Christmas tree. Of course, he's got a little reindeer on it. This was regularly $49.99 and they had these half off. Of course, it wouldn't be complete without table runners. And I picked that one up and it was $14.99. I got it half off. No room is complete without blankets. You got to have something warm and cozy to go with our warm, cozy Christmas feel. And I picked this one up, and I think it was a $19.99 blanket I got for $10. And I cheated. I usually make my own bows. But I saw this one, and being it was half off, I couldn't pass it up. It was regularly at $11.99. I got it half off. And last but not least, I picked up a nutcracker. <laughs> If you've been watching my videos, you know we collect nutcrackers, and I love little nutcrackers. This one has his PJs on, and he's also got these cute little reindeer bedroom shoes, and his little teddy bear, and his hot cocoa and cookies. I couldn't resist this one. He is a reminder. Our family always gets together, and uh, we get matching PJs, and we take family photographs, and we eat Christmas breakfast together, and sit around and unwrap our Christmas get, um, Christmas presents that morning. But it's just one of those crazy traditions there. But no, those are the finds that I got from Hobby Lobby and I just wanted to share those with you. And if you'll stay tuned, I'm going to show you what we're going to do in this room here. We'll be right back. We like to begin my projects with a blank canvas. So as you can see, I've taken down most of my pictures and removed all the decor that I had in the living room theme and I'm going to be using a lot of the red and black buffalo print in this room and I shared with you some of my finds that I got at Hobby Lobby with their 50% off sale and I got blankets, pillows, I've got a tree skirt with the buffalo plaid in it and also a table runner. So those were just some key accent pieces there so that you could get the feel of this area. And I'm going to show you the rest in just a minute. We're going to get started. Alright everyone, I wanted to give you a quick run through of my cozy Christmas cottage. Um, if you'll remember how bare it was, I stripped my room down, but I want to show you the items that I do have. This is that picture that I got from Hobby Lobby. I put some garland around it and that buffalo print. There's my sweet little baby right there on a blanket. 
Here's the pillow. I went by and I found these cute little buffalo plaid print pillows at Walmart today for $5 each. Those are just some pillows that I had from a previous season. There's that lovely flower arrangement that I made. I have a video showing how to make that. There's a little Believe ornament. I have a video on how to do that. I turned a Dollar Tree item into it. Got some garland there with that with bows on it. Here is a runner, a buffalo plaid runner. And there is a gnome planner. That is a farm truck tray. If you like this tray, um, I actually sell these on my website um, at www.southerndelightgiftsandapparel.com. The link is down below. That's one of the items I carry in my store. There's some lighted trees there. There's our manna. We don't have a fireplace, so that's the best I could do. Hung our flower, I mean our uh, stockings from there. This is what we <laughs> use as our fireplace. A uh, lovely little nutcracker. I did a flower arrangement with him on it. If you remember the, the tree there. In there. There's that lovely blanket. This um, ottoman stuck out because it's so white and floral. I just threw the blanket over there and it, it's, it's wonderful right there. It's so cozy and comfortable. And um, there's the others. I did that little arrangement. There is my Christmas tree tucked away in the corner there. There's that lovely buffalo print and reindeer skirting. One that my stepfather built. He does woodworking stuff and he made that pie safe. I keep telling him I want him on my YouTube video so he can show us how he does all this stuff. It's, really, it's a very small room, a very small area, but um, if you just use certain item, key items as accent pieces, like I said, start fresh, start with a theme, and um, just pick up little odds and ends. You don't have to do it all at once. These are over several years that I've collected all this stuff, but... Um, like this year, I showed you the accent pieces. Always remember pillows. Oh, and the rug. I bought, I got a new rug down there. And I went with um, a lighter color rug because my floors are so dark and my furniture is so dark. We um, have to keep this leather furniture because I have that sweet little baby over there that sheds. So um, right now, that's the furniture that I have to have is that dark, deep color. If I had my choice, I'd love to have all white, but uh, right now that's a little hard to do. But that is my take on a cozy cottage Christmas. I hope you like that and will continue to follow me. And um, if you see some ideas in there, like I said, I've done several of I have done several tutorials on um, some of these items in here and um, if you subscribe to me then you can uh, download all my videos and then see those in there but uh, if you will put some comments down below let me know what you think of it because but until then see you next time